punishments without physical pain cannot be as effective as corporal punishment. They are not strict enough. They will eventually cause students to just ignore the things teachers are saying. However, corporal punishment will definitely be a good idea to teach students how to behave properly and settle down bad students so class can go on very well. Furthermore, Mr. Speaker, teachers are professional educators and should be trusted to use corporal punishment for a teacher and their classmates. But that's ridiculous, Mr. Speaker. They will think they'll have a second chance and they will try to be good and they will be very, very... Corporal punishment can destroy the relationship between the student and the teacher. It can damage the trust that students have in their teachers. Mr. Speaker, if a child is afraid of his teachers or dislikes them because they hit him or her, he or she may not tell the teachers about important matters such as being bullied at school or being abused at home. Also, the child may be afraid to go to school and may start skipping for fall. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to rise before the House to address today's motion on whether corporal punishment should be allowed in schools. According to a recent Gallup poll, most North Americans think that discipline is the biggest problem in public education today. Several studies also show strong public support for corporal punishment. This government completely agrees with the opinion expressed in the poll and he expressed in the poll and fully supports the use of corporal punishment in schools. abolish corporal punishment in schools. It is used mainly on poor, disabled, minority, and male children. For example, African-American children represent 17% of the public school population, yet make up 39% of the students who get corporal punishment to go to school and major part to control the classes removed. Many students will choose not to pay attention or work hard in class as there will be no negative or harsh consequences for such behavior. I will now continue the government case. Mr. Speaker, corporal punishment or the deliberate infliction of pain for the purpose of correction or punishment should be allowed in schools as it is an efficient way to control the misbehavior of students. Many students who misbehave in school came from unstable families. Some of them already has been abused at home by their parents. Teacher is one of the few others who this children can reach out for support and comfort. But if the teacher also hits them, they mistrust and fear the teacher and will be left out without anyone to talk. Punishment, they probably thought that they were doing something good. However, in places where corporal punishment has been banned, there are many serious problems in schools. As a result, the support for the use of corporal punishment are increasing and more and more people are saying that corporal punishment should be allowed in schools to misbehave. Really, Mr. Speaker, corporal punishment is wrong as it involves physical and emotional harm. It is never right to hit a child. Furthermore, the power of physical punishment to teach a child the difference between right and wrong is doubtful. A young child may learn that the adult is displeased, but not why, and make the child hostile. There has no reasonable risks and no lasting harm, and such use of force is fair and should be allowed in schools. Mr. Speaker, in many countries, including Canada, corporate punishment is not allowed in schools as it is said to be an inappropriate method of discipline. How Sometimes students who misbehave. Most civilized countries today recognize the harm that corporal punishment can do to children and have consequently ended the corporal punishment of children in schools. If schools in Canada do not permit their teachers to use corporal punishment as a method of discipline.